to be honest, I ran out of ideas. Hey nerds, it's Teary. Welcome back to my show. Topics of today include new World of Warcraft raid, PvP season, and world bosses, ways to flavor up your garrison, and Hearthstone goblins versus gnomes is just around the corner. Many of you have already tried the new High Mall raid brought to World of Warcraft on Tuesday, and I hope you're loving it. High Mall has five main encounters with two optional encounters. As previously discussed, there are four difficulties with High Mall. That is LFR with 25 players, Normal and Heroic with 10 to 30 players. I love that it's flexed now. It's magical for guilds who always just have that, that in-between number. And Mythic which is 20 player. The loot item level from High Mall ranges from 640 to 685 and is on average 10 item levels below the Blackrock Foundry gear. I think when I stream, it's gonna be, I don't know, Molten Core, or maybe we'll try our luck at High Mall, but I don't know if we're ready for normal. Still gonna put that on the calendar. Pretty sure some of my guildies are gonna find out for the first time in this video so oops <laughs> and that brings me to the next thing only normal and heroic came out on tuesday we will be seeing looking for raid and mythic on the 9th of december the item level requirement to queue up for looking for raid is 615 i'm already there because i was pushing so hard to get to molten core which i haven't done yet so i'm going to be doing some raiding this weekend the raid entrance is in northwestern negrand and my favorite thing is that all four difficulties have their own lockout. None of them share a lockout. Yeah! I don't have any, uh, I don't have any cheer noises to play in the background, but whatevs. You guys can make them. Cool. You can obtain a piece of loot that will fill every gear slot in High Mall. To see the detailed loot list, raid schedule, and boss strategies, check the link in the description. World of Warcraft's PvP Season 16 also started Tuesday, December 2nd, and that added two new vendors to Storm Shield. People can queue up for arenas and battlegrounds and maybe I'll die in the world less. That means Blizzard is converting Conquest to Honor and the Conquest gear to Honor gear to start the season with a clean slate. Along with the release of High Mall, we have also been given the opportunity to murder two new world bosses. Drove the Ruiner and Tarlnuck the Ageless. Drove spawns in Central Gorgrond, just north of Grand Canyon. He's a one-eyed molten rock monster. He has two frontal cones, a raid-wide smash, an ad that should be killed and a charge. Tarlna spawns in Southern Gorgrond near Bastion Rise, and he's a big centaur looking dude with huge tusks. Tarlna has a frontal cone, an AOE that you need to spread out for, sproutlings you need to step on or they turn into something a little more dangerous, and an ad that needs to be tanked and killed, and drops damaging spit puddles. Both of these world bosses drop item level 650 gear, and only one of the other will spawn each week. Upon the future release of the Blackrock Foundry raid, we will be seeing a third world boss named Rukmar, who is a giant bird. He drops piles of ash on the ground you need to dodge due to a bad debuff they put on you. When he flies up in the air, throws loose quills at the raid. He spawns phoenixes that fixate on raid members and need to be killed has ongoing heavy raid-wide damage, a frontal cone, and needs tank swapping due to dots. There are ways to flavor up your garrison aside from choosing what buildings you want. There are different NPCs and things you can get from quests all around Draenor. I will go over a few. Looks like there are a couple reported for each zone, so I'll go over one from each. The first one, Squiggy from Shadow Moon Valley, is a fey dragon. During the quest, Think of the Children, you will need to complete In Need of a Hero, where you save Ariana's fey dragon. Once saved, he enters your garrison and awaits petting. I still want a fey dragon plushie. My favorite from Frostfire Ridge is Snowpaw. You get this little guy to pet in your garrison from doing the quest Gut Gutra. After you complete all of the quests in Spires of Arak, you get Rashad and his sidekick, Percy. You can buy basic inscription supplies from Percy and your garrison. Find Hemet Nessingwary in Negrand and talk with him, listen to his woes about having to complete a small game hunt, and he may show up in your garrison later. Sappy is in Tangleheart Gorgrund, and if you talk with him and feed him, he will come and kill saplings by your herb garden in your garrison. And of course, Dog, the quest line in Mists of Pandaria. If you completed that in the Tillers area and had Dog hanging out in your farm, he will come to your garrison too. Loyal little fella. Oh, I want a dog again. I'm gonna name him Dog. <laughs> no. 
There are so many other NPCs and things you can personalize your garrison with, so check the link in the description from Wowhead. Now that High Mall has started to release in World of Warcraft, we are now seeing the next step of the legendary quest if you're caught up. If you've done all of the heroic dungeons and gotten the cores from each one, you will then get two quests to get different items from High Mall. One is for 125 Abrogator Stones. The other requires that you get the Felbreaker's Tome and the Sigil of the Sorcerer King. By the end of this section of the quest, you should be getting your next ring for the legendary quest. It's item level 690. Check the link in the description for the quests and the rings. Blizzard added a new item to World of Warcraft along with the High Mall raid. It's called the Seal of Tempered Fate, and it gives you a bonus roll in High Mall or Blackrock Foundry. You can get it from doing two different rare follower quests, specific dailies, and if you have a level three Dwarven Bunker or War Mill, you get a free one each week. At BlizzCon 2014, we found out about the new Hearthstone expansion coming, Goblins vs. Gnomes. And guys, it's almost here, finally. For North America, Goblins vs. Gnomes for Hearthstone will be releasing December 8th, and for Europe, it will be releasing December 9th. Hearthpwn has updated their database to add the 61 new cards announced just this morning, as well as the gold cards coming with the new expansion and the launch event. Predominantly in the last post, they show the gold cards and their cool animations. My two favorites from skimming through each one would have to be Malorn, which is a seven cost, nine seven, and he shuffles himself back into the deck when he dies. Next would have to be the Iron Juggernaut, who is a six cost, 6-5. His battle cry is he shuffles a mine into your opponent's deck and when it is drawn, it deals 10 damage. It just says it explodes for 10 damage, so I don't know if it's randomly split or if it hits the hero. I assume it hits the hero, but they don't really specify. Thoughts in the comments. The Hearthstone launch event starts upon launch of the game, obviously. They haven't announced an end date for this event. Hearthbone suspects it'll probably be a couple of months if it's anything like Naxxramas. If you log into Hearthstone during the launch event, you get a free arena and three goblins versus gnomes card packs. I'll take it. Argy, the space goat pet I recently mentioned, is now on sale in the Blizzard store. He's $10 and 100% of the sales through December 31st go to the Red Cross to go towards Ebola relief efforts in Africa. It's so cute. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know why you liked or disliked this video. Definitely check back every Wednesday for news and gaming videos in between. I will be live streaming this Friday night at twitch.tv slash tyranny at 740 Pacific time. Not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll figure it out and it'll be fun. So I hope to see you there. But until then, have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Okay? I love you all. Bye-bye.